Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, a while ago, I did a video that kind of highlighted some of the coins I had, since I do like collecting currency. So I figured I would do a follow-up for that, showing you some of my paper currencies. Now, before I begin, I do want to mention that uh, it really has nothing to do with monetary value. I really don't care so much about what it's worth. I just enjoy seeing what they all look like, what people put on their, what they value basically, since if they like it and it's a high value in their society or their culture, usually they put it on their money, and I just find that interesting. So I've got a few here I can show you, although the first one, I do have to admit, isn't really money, but it is interesting. It is ACDC. I have no idea where I got this, and it's uh, probably a promotional bit of something, but from 1990, an ACDC dollar. Obviously it's not real, it's probably like a bookmark or something. I have no idea when or where I got it, I just know I've had this forever. This is what the back looks like. And this camera has like pretty much no focus, so I'm going to have to do everything really close. But uh, yeah, uh, here's this guy, uh, Young. I actually don't know anything about ACDC. But, interesting nonetheless. Put that over there. Here's another one that, again, may not have any monetary value at all outside of where it's from. But I don't even know if they still use them anymore. It's a Disney dollar. Yes. Disney dollars may be spent or collected and saved as souvenirs and are redeemable at any time before or after any period of inactivity. Uh, from 1990, may be used as legal tender only at Disneyland Park, Walt Disney World Resort, and at the Disney stores. I have no earthly idea if that's still true. Because this is from, as it says, 1990. That's a while ago. But there's Tinkerbell. And of course there's Mickey. And the mouse symbol from Scrooge McDuck, Treasurer. Dizzy Dollar. And on the back we have... Uh, the Cinderella's Castle, I believe that is. Yes. And Tinkerbell again from the Walt Disney Company. Very interesting. Alright, now I have two of these here, ironically enough doing some American currencies. The $2 bill. I think these are both the same year. Uh, yes, 1976 it says on it from, my, from down here, but I'm gonna have to zoom in up here. And again, these are not super rare, though you don't really see them much. It's Thomas Jefferson. And, you know, this is always something uh, neat to look at. I have no idea what the, that person's writing is for. And on the back, in case you've never seen it, so it looks like. I believe that is supposed to be the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Oh, it says so right at the bottom, in fact. <laughs> Shows how much I pay attention to these things. And I've got two. Two two dollars. Uh, here's probably one of my older bills that I have, and probably one of the more interesting ones. It is a ten dollar bill from 1934. Pretty old. That's older than my parents, actually. But, as I've looked up, this is basically just worth face value, because they're not that rare. There's Alexander Hamilton there. The interesting bit is this here. This note is legal tender for all debts, public and private, and this is uh, redeemable in lawful money at the United States Treasury or any federal bank reserve, or reserve bank, excuse me. And, actually, it's been a while since you've seen the old $10 bills. You know, go away. So, interesting stuff there. Pretty old one. This is just a dollar, but it has Santa on it. A Santa dollar, which this is just a sticker that someone put on a normal dollar. You can get around Christmas. Amusing, nonetheless. So that is my, uh, I don't know, I have one more. I guess we'll do the American stuff first. Just here's a, an old 20 from 1977. I kept it just because these are getting a little harder to find since the uh, the newer ones are around. So in case you've never seen the old $20 bill with uh, Andrew Jackson there on it. Hello, Andrew. Now we're going to uh, some foreign monies. Uh, let's see. Let's save those for last. We have, I've got two kind of crumbly $5 notes from the Bahamas. Don't know who that guy is. Maybe it'll say. 
there it is, Sir Cecil, Cecil Wallace Whitefeld. He's a interesting looking guy. Don't know who he is. So this is from the Bahamas. And like I said, like this being not from there and being used to our green stuff, it's interesting seeing a bill that's orange. I don't know what all that is. Mina, I'm doing a video here. Do you mind? Please go away. Thank you. And like I said, I got two of those. I do have some more Bahama money here. So that was a five. And now we've got a one dollar bill from the Bahamas. Uh, who is this man? Sir, this man. And he looks quite nice. Uh, let's see. So got some fish and coral, and that looks like a sand dollar on there. And what's on the back? Uh, some symbols here. I've done no research, by the way, so I don't know really any of this stuff. The Central Bank of the, bah of the Bahamas. One dollar. Police band. Okay. That's their police, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think that's all for the Caribbean. So now I've got a few um, some bills from Egypt of all places. I got let's see one, two, three, four, four dollars from Egypt and Bank of Egypt, Central Bank of Egypt. And again, this is orange or well more brownish, I guess. Brownish orange. Um, I guess that's Egyptian writing. I have no idea what that says. Um, still nothing. I still don't know what any of that is. What is this? Only language I don't understand. And I have, like I said, four of them. But I find these so super interesting. You know, I've never been to Egypt. Let's see. This is a uh, five dollar. Note, and I have four, five, six of these. Must think, um, oh, I should say that the Caribbean dollars came from my friends who went there on a, a honeymoon trip, and the Egyptian dollars I have here were from a college professor that went there also on a trip, and I just basically told them, hey, I like foreign bills, would you mind? Bring me back one, and they gave me back more than one. So here's a $5 Egyptian note. I don't know what all that is about. I think that's where, if you hold it up to the light, you can see a face, but I don't think my camera's going to really be able to do that. You can sort of see it uh, in relief down here, but not really. What's interesting, though, is you know on the front, it's all in their language, but on the back here, it's in English. Very strange. I wonder why they do that. Uh, I guess for people like us who don't understand their writings. I suppose. And I've got um, one more from Egypt. This is something we don't have here in America. This is a $25 note. So they have something set up where it's they can just give them a 25er. I have no earthly idea what these are uh, worth compared to our American dollar. I generally have no idea. And, oh, piece of corn. And wheat, I'm going to guess. Um, don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like I said, really cool looking stuff. This is sort of a, a purplish blue color. I don't know how well it's going to come out in the camera. Maybe if I put it down and out of the light. Or back away. No, too reflective. Are you enjoying that? Psst. Yes, you. I would help, appreciate if you don't steal those. Back off. And I do have a uh, okay, uh, English five pound. There it is, and there's that lady. I <laughs> can't quite make out their cursive there. But I'm going to guess someone of importance, maybe a prime minister, although I doubt it. Um, and yes. And that's the queen, I'm assuming. And again, five pounds from Bank of England.
promised to pay the bearer on demand the sum of five pounds. Um, what is more common there? Since I see a lot of, I don't rarely see, uh, I don't usually see people with these in movies and things. Usually they have the coins. Uh, this is a something. I'm bl not sure if this is uh, a yen or something. I really generally don't know. Uh, so it's either Chinese or Japanese. Not quite sure. I don't remember where I got this one. The British pound I got from the airport. This I actually don't remember where I got. So I don't know if this is genuine or fake or... But again, interesting. Wish I could understand that. And I also have a little something a little closer to home. A Canadian fiver. And of course, being Canada, hockey. Oh, they love their hockey and sledding. And they have this guy who is, uh, let's see. So Wilfred Laurier, Prime Minister. Or Premier Minister. I'm going to assume that since it's, it's Prime Minister there, that's just how they spell prime. So it is a $5. And it looks smudged here, or whited out, but it's that in real life too, so. And my most recent uh, acquisitions, and one of the reasons I, do you mind? I'm trying to do a video here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a video here. I know you want to play. She doesn't normally bite me like that, but she just wants to play. I'm preventing her from playing. These are bills from Cuba, and I got two of them because they actually have two currencies. So these are both technically a dollar, but not quite. This is the a uh, normal Cuban dollar, I forget exactly what they're called, but Banco Central de Cuba uh, and there's that gentleman there Jose Marti and here is his on the back uh, is that Fidel? Fidel Castro there, it looks like it reading the uh, the revolution very interesting, I didn't notice that the first time I looked at it, oh there's a Cuban flag and then they have this, which is a basically called what they call a peso convertible, it says so right on there. And this is also a dollar. But here, here's the uh, it's on the back there. Oh, we saw him on the front of the other bill. Uh, apparently, this is basically equivalent, although I don't know exactly if it's the exact same amount of our American dollar, whereas these, the normal Cuban dollar, are actually worth far less. I think you would need maybe five of these to equal one of these or something like that, so people who are getting these tend to be a lot worse situation than those who are earning this one here. I don't know why they have that. really couldn't tell you. And uh, that's my lot at the moment, and Nina has claimed them. You're a very rich cat. Huh. You just want all, all, all the monies? Is that it? You want you want all my monies? Why? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Why, why are you doing that? Ouch. Ow. Jeez. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. That's a blurry, horrible mess. Uh, what was... Do you have some foreign currencies that you really love or have interesting stories of? Uh, does this uh, Disney dollar, hill, dollar here still in use? Are they still use them? Are they worth anything other than, you know, just a piece of paper with some uh, with a mouse on it? Let me know. And uh, let me know what you guys think and tell me some stories and whatever. Or if you can just tell Nina's cute. I'm sure she'll learn how to read it. Anyway, that was my foreign monies. Bye-bye.